How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm looking at Sunvision AC's um, mechanical gaming keyboard. to have a look at. So basically what the ACs is, is a small uh, mechanical gaming keyboard that you can get on Amazon for around £30 at the moment um, and it doesn't have the number key so it's good for a little small form factor you're trying to keep a minimal kind of setup and um, this is perfect. So for the price, it looks pretty good. So what have we got? So we, this is the front of the box here, it's got the mechanical blue switch on there. They're not Cherry MX, they're just your normal kind of mechanical switches but they are rated for 50 million key cl clicks which is pretty uh, standard these days, they don't tend to go wrong or anything like that. You've got full RGB lighting as well, um, with different programmable um, uh, settings that you can choose from. There's 22 different lighting effects that you can get that are built into the actual keyboard. So that's the front of the box there, and the back, just tell you some specs, you know, your, your average kind of Joe. So let's open it up. Okay, so inside the box there, you see the actual keyboard, and it's all, got the cloth all over it, so we'll just take this out. Go. and you get a nice uh, like silky braided cable as well which is kind of standard these days on uh, gaming stuff let's chuck this uh, box in here right so you've got the uh, online chat on uh, warranty support if you've got any issues uh, with your uh, keyboard there so that's good to know um, you get a manual on how to use the lines so do not throw this manual away because it actually has all the commands that you need to know on um, how to actually use the different lighting effects. So, because they're not a software that you download to use the lighting effects, they're all built in hardware onto the actual um, keyboard itself. So, here, so here's the keyboard itself. Got a braided cable with a gold tipped USB there as well, so it's good to see. And the actual uh, keyboard, it feels quite good, it feels quite solid. To be honest, um, it's a lot better build quality than I was expecting for £30 because it's not um, a completely plastic body. The actual base of uh, the, uh, of here, um, it's made out of uh, metal, so it's a very solid, like I'm trying to flex it here, there's literally zero flexing, so quite well made to be honest, which is not what you expect for this kind of price point, which is really good. Um, so yeah, these are the button clicks there. Cherry MS Blues, like I said, so if you do like that kind of typewriter feel where it's got really tactile feedback with the click, then um, you know, this is quite a good choice for that, uh, but it can get quite loud. Um, on the back there, you've got the um, feet um, that you can flick up to give it a raised stance on the actual uh, table, and you've got some rubber standoffs there, and you've also got a cable routing channel as well, where you can thread the... Um, USB uh, cable through and get it out of the way on the left or right or the middle, whatever you want to do. At the top you've got your media keys there and you've also got all your different functions keys um, there as, as well with the brightness up and down, all the kind of regular stuff that you'd expect from the 10 kilos keyboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in, have a look at the lighting effects and see what we get. Alright guys, so here's the keyboard all lit up in all its glory. Now I definitely recommend you need to keep the manual that you get for this thing don't just throw it in the bin because it's got all the instructions on how to access all the different rgb lighting modes um so because uh, you can't do it through the software the sun vision software only lets you set man macro keys it doesn't let you control all the lighting so there's 22 different lighting modes for him so your basic one you've got function up and down and then you can see here you can press function and that does the brightness so that's our max brightness then you've got these different stages until it turns off as well. So, you know, that's the uh, full brightness there. Um, and then you also got light direction, um, so if the, which changes which way the current lighting effect spins. So some of them spin um, one way, some of them got others. This won't always apply to every single effect. So say if you do uh, function and then lighting, is it the, this, this one? Yeah. You see it, it's like um, turning the uh, the current effect clockwise or anti-clockwise. So that's something to bear in mind there as well. Now to access all the different lighting uh, modes, um, it's function and then scroll lock, insert, home, delete, page up or page down. So you have to cycle through them and that gives you a different um, result. So basically you've got uh, function, uh, which one's the best one? It's a scroll lock. So you've got up here. So as you can see, it's changed it there. You know, it goes like a spiral. You've got this uh, spiral wave. 
Yes, yeah, so we've only got two on that one. And then we've got scroll lock and insert, so that's that one. And we've got static. Doing like a bit of a heart pulse. You know, quicker pulse. And then um, you can um, change uh, the um, actual uh, speed of each um, uh, effect as well. So this is like a type lighting one. So if you want to change the speed of it, you do function and then it's down here. So if I want to do it all the way down to the bottom, it should go slower. And then all the way up to the top, it should go faster. It probably depends on which um, one effect you're using though. So what have we got here? So yeah, so if I wanted this one to speed up, then it's pulsing a lot faster there, as you can see. So let's uh, just put this down to uh, a medium pace and let's go to function and home. And then now we've got a type lighting, function home again, type lighting again, pretty cool, function home. Then we've got a bar, type lighting. And then we've got um, function home again. Again, what takes us to oh, like a cluster of stuff? Come home again, and then you've got that one there. Okay, now let's see what else we've got. Function delete, function delete, and then we've got like a wave. You know what? The lighting actually looks quite good. It's quite a good quality because they're all individual LEDs, so it's quite bright. Um, so that's quite impressive as well. Um, so pretty cool that you got there. Then you've got function and end, which cancels all of them, and then you've got function, page up. Then you've got function page down, which basically spots back through those settings there. So yeah, pretty pretty cool. So anyway, it's uh, it is pretty good. Uh, one thing I'd like to uh, point out is even though it does say RGB, one thing you have to bear in mind, every key isn't an RGB LED. So the way it works is the top row is red, uh, this row is green, then blue, then orange, then white, then purple. So if you want to switch all the colors to all the keys to one color, you can't actually do that. Um, to my knowledge anyway, it's, it's just this row is purple and you know, etc. and it'll just cycle through them. So that's kind of a bit annoying, you can't actually switch through them. But to be honest, for the price, if you just wanted a straight up RGB kind of look, then £30 for a mechanical keyboard is an absolute bargain in my opinion. And it is very good quality. Um, uh, I do recommend it um, if you want something cheap, that's 10 keyless, uh, well built and it's got funky RGB switches. Click on the link in the description below and it'll take you straight through to the product. If you do like this video, please, um, uh, subscribe and leave a comment and yeah, tune in for some more.